This is my top 20 graded books that I purchased in the year 2018. So if you want to know what those are, just stick around and we'll find out together. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, as promised, I am doing first my top 20 slabbed books for the year. And then in a couple of days, I will be doing my top 60 unslabbed books. So that will be a three-part series. This one's all going to be in one video. So as usual, if you wait until the end, we'll see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want one, all you have to do is be a subscriber. And even if you don't get it, please just make sure you show support by waiting until the end to see who it is and then leaving a little hello in the comments section. So this way we could show how easily everybody gets along here. So, of course, I show all the comics. I tell a little bit about them, what their importance are in case you're not familiar with the book. And I always tell the prices, including shipping and handling. So this way it could help you if you're ever looking to get this book, what kind of prices to pay. So with that being said, let's get into it. We go from the lowest to the highest. I didn't get a lot of graded books this year because a lot of the books I bought were ungraded. That's why the difference between a top 20 and a top 60. But these are still not bad books. The first couple ones are eh, but let's get it going. So the first one, of course, is Walking Dead. I am a huge Walking Dead fan. I have every single comic all the way down to issue number one. Um, luckily I was able to get a big run of it back, um, back in around 2015, but this is the first appearance of Princess Juanita. Um, still too early to tell what's going to happen with this character, but, you know, you get these cheap, it's definitely worth taking the chance on. This was a 9.8, of course, with white pages. I paid $48 for that, and that includes shipping and handling, so for me, it was totally worth it. Uh, this is one I showed fairly recently. It took a little while to get this book. Uh, this is Venom number 7. This is the secret variant because it had the secret tongue variant. Um, I didn't get this the day it came out, but I still got it relatively cheap. Um, this, again, is a CGC 9.8. And, of course, we got to make sure we get our cat in. He loves to be in these videos. I paid a total of $90.15 for that book all right next up these are books i was telling people to get for a while uh this isn't a major first appearance or anything but still considering the character these are all hot at this point uh this is spider-verse issue number one this is the first series uh this is the one in 25 variant got this a couple of months ago but um definitely with that movie it was a pretty good movie it was definitely something that's going to be I'm expecting a sequel, and they've already talked about other characters being in, so anything Spider-Gwen is definitely hot at this point. So uh, this is, again, this is the Rodriguez, I believe, variant, 1 in 25. I only paid $47 for this book, including shipping and handling, so not a bad price, especially when you're talking graded, because just to get that book graded with shipping and handling and everything else, it would probably come out to about $30, and that's not trying to get it speeded up or anything. All right, number 17. This is Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 799. Uh, this is another book that was hot for a little while, but, you know, cooled off a little bit. But I got it for a decent price. You know, I didn't get this the day it came out. I bought it already graded. This is CGC 9.8. And absolutely love that cover. Paid a total of $68.75. All right. Number 16, another book. This cat loves to show the wrong end. This is Teen Titans issue number 20. This is the first appearance of um, Lobo's daughter in the corner. Um, again, another book, too early to tell what's going to happen with it, but it is dual signed by Bernard Chang and Adam Glass. And this is the variant version of this book. Uh, again, CGC 9.8, yellow series, because that was witnessed. I didn't get it signed, but I bought it that way. Paid a total of $99.65. All right, number 15, I bought two of these, but I'm only going to show one. This is um, The Dark Knights, The Batman Who Laughs, issue number one. This one's definitely regaining ground. 
absolutely love this character. I had a feeling that it's going to do well in the long run. We'll see how it goes, but a lot of people really fell in love with this character. Definitely cool concept, cool stories, and worth getting. Uh, this isn't the first appearance, but this is the origin of Batman Who Laughs. So the first appearance, obviously, is Teen Titans 12, which luckily I bought two of those, and I'll get those graded eventually. But again, 9.8. And I paid a total of $81.99. All right, number 15. We have another book that I bought already graded. Well, obviously, that's what this whole section of video is about, all well, books that I bought graded. But this is Thanos number 15. Uh, the Cosmic Ghost Rider is revealed to be Frank Castle. Uh, this is another character that people absolutely love. Will it be something long-term? That remains to be seen. Um, I think if they do, like, an alternate universe version of this, so this way, you know, they don't get rid of the Punisher or anything, uh, this could have some staying power. But again, uh, this is a 9.8. I bought this. It was a PGX-graded book. Spent $54.85 for this book. I got this one fairly early. All right, number 14. It's another book from another character I was telling people to get for a while. Uh, this isn't the first appearance or anything, but this was the first issue of this character. This is Silk issue number one. Um, let me see if there's any significance here. Uh, first Silk in her own title, first appearance of Dragon's Dragon Law. I'm not sure if that's going to be anything of importance. But this was signed by Dave Johnson. And this was a CBCS book, graded 9.8. According to Oregon, he really likes this character. Uh, this is one that I was talking about with that other movie, that uh, she might be in the next one. So this is definitely a character to get while you can. It's only going to get more expensive, but I paid a total of $78.74. All right, so I believe I'm on number 14. Let me see. 20, 19, 18, 17... Hold on. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Oh, wow, my well. All right, number 12 then. Sorry about that. This is Captain America issue number 100. I have several copies of this, but I happened to get this one fairly cheap on eBay a couple of months ago. Of course, this is where Captain America has his first own his own magazine well as they say magazine but first appearance in his comic book as far as his own title this was tales of suspense up until issue 99 where he was doing some comics with um iron man definitely a book to get if you can get it still pretty cheap probably going to go down a little bit if captain america dies i mean that's not a spoiler because i don't know and uh, we'll see what happens but again I bought this cheap. I only paid $112.03 for this book. So definitely a good book to get if you can get them. All right. I'm just going to lay it on the cat. <laughs> All right. This is one I actually bought from, I think it's All About Comics. I bought this on their um, auctions. Unfortunately, now I work on Wednesday, so I can't go to their auctions anymore, which is a little disappointing. But this is Totally Awesome Hulk issue number 22 first full appearance of Weapon H. Uh, this was signed by Greg Pak, and it's a CGC 9.8. As you can see, the yellow label, so it is signature witnessed. With shipping and handling, I won it on their site for only $115. I was very happy about that, so if you ever get the chance to check out their auction site, please do. All right, next up, we have another Walking Dead book. When I find deals, I'll get them, even if I have duplicates, because like I always say, if you get duplicates of a book, you can end up trading it, or if you want to sell it, you still have one. But uh, I haven't done either at this point, but you never know. This is Walking Dead number 10, which is the first appearance of Herschel and um, Maggie. There's a couple of others, but obviously those two are the most important, Herschel and Maggie, especially since Maggie is still alive in the Walking Dead comic series. Uh, this was a CGC signature signed by Tony Moore and Robert Kirkman. So this is doubly signed. This is a CGC 9.6, of course, with white pages. And I paid a total of $81. So for a double signed book, 
9.6. Definitely can't complain about that. Okay, next up we have Tales of Suspense, issue number 50, which is the first appearance of the Mandarin. Uh, this was one of the books that I had as a child, but it got stolen from me. Uh, many of my key issues, especially high-grade key issues, got stolen. But it took me years, but I got most of them back. Unfortunately, a lot more expensive and a lot lower grades. But to me, something's always better than nothing. So this was a PGX 5.5, off-white to white pages. Not bad at all. Definitely a book to get. You can get this pretty cheap. I only paid $96.94. And, of course, like I say, that includes shipping and handling. All right, this is another book I highly recommend to get if you can get your hands on one. Uh, who knows if this person, Kang, will be appearing in an Avengers movie or a Marvel movie. But there has been some speculation about that. That would definitely be a cool character to have. Uh, this is Avengers number 8. That's another book I got stolen when I was a kid. I probably had a 9.0 to a 9.2 version of it, but I'll be happy with a PGX 6.0 with white pages. Uh, like I said, this is definitely a book to acquire if you can get it. It does have a Jack Kirby cover and a Stan Lee story. So if you're one of those people who likes the actual work of Stan Lee, this is one of those books. And again, like I said, first appearance of Kang. That would be a cool character to put into one of the movies. But I paid $133 and 94 cents for that book all right we're getting close to the end next up we've got prince uh namor the submariner uh this is another book i've been recommending for a while it's still obtainable so this is a book you should get if you can um, obviously there are no guarantees that submariner will appear in a marvel cinematic universe movie because they do not own the rights but that doesn't stop Disney and their Disney bucks because, you know, keep in mind, they don't own the rights to Spider-Man. They don't own the rights to the Incredible Hulk. And yet you see them in Marvel movies. So if they want this character bad enough, um, they can get him. So we'll see what happens. So it is speculation. But the best time to get these kind of books is when the, che the prices are lower. So um, obviously most people are not going to be able, able to afford his Golden Age appearances because, you know, you're talking in the tens of thousands, even in lower grade. So this is going to be the next best thing. So this is the Silver Age appearance in his first own title since the Golden Age. And I got this one at a 6.5. I have several copies. Um, definitely a great book to get. Hard to get in higher grade because this tends to fade a lot. But if you can get this book cheap, get it. I paid $175, which is not bad for a book already graded. All right. This is another book, especially when it first came out. This book got up to like seven, dollars $800. It's definitely lowered a little bit. But because of the fact of Spider-Gwen and the great job in that movie... Uh, this book has definitely picked up steam again. And that's why I say be careful about books. You're going to get books. Sometimes they go up and down, and then you never know what can turn around. So don't get discouraged if all of a sudden a book that you bought loses value because it can turn around, and that's what exactly happened with this one. So I bought it at the right time because when this first came out, this book was already selling for about $400 ungraded. And like I said, at one point it was getting up to about seven to $800. Right now it's close to that again. But this is Spider-Gwen issue number one. This is the first series. This is the 1 in 100 Adam Hughes variant. Absolutely beautiful cover, especially people who love Adam Hughes. I wish I could get this signed. Who knows? One day that would be great. But this is a 9.8 with white pages. I only paid $292 for this book. So considering how expensive this was right off the bat when it first came out, to get this book 9.8 for under $300... Definitely happy about that. Obviously, this isn't Spider-Gwen's first appearance, but it was the first issue of her first title, and that's the 1 in 100 variant, so definitely a book to get. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. So the top five books of 2018 that are, were bought graded. Uh, this is a book I showed maybe about less than a month ago. Um, again, another Walking Dead fan. This one, I absolutely love this book. This is Walking Dead issue number 100. Uh, this was signed by Robert Kirkman, and this is the Lucille edition. This is limited to, I believe, 
a thousand copies. It was either one thousand, no, five hundred copies, because I know there was another variant, the Ruby variant, that was limited to two hundred and fifty. So only five hundred of these exist. And this book got pretty expensive, but I got it for a decent deal. Now, this is only a 9.2 graded by CBCS, and it was verified signature from Robert Kirkman. But still, this book usually sells, even in that grade, for about $500 to $600. And we'll see where it goes, because Negan still is a popular character in Walking Dead. I paid only $240.55 for that book. So to me, that's a steal. All right, number four, this would have been higher up, but this is a lower grade. But for the price I paid for it, I could not complain because I got this with eBay bucks. Uh, didn't get it for free, but uh, definitely got close enough. Uh, this is Strange Tales issue number 110, which is the first appearance of Doctor Strange. It's only a .5 with creamed off-white pages. Uh, page 4 and 14 are missing. It does affect the story, so it is incomplete. But, you know... I can't really afford even a mid-grade of this book. So, for the, again, for the price I paid for it, I can't complain. It is still the first appearance. Um, I only paid $110.11 for this book. So even with those pages missing, to pay basically a little bit over $100 for this book, I have no problem with that. Now, many people may not have bought it, but that's okay. That's what kept the price low for me. All right, number four. This is my second copy of this book. Definitely one to acquire. Uh, this is Journey into Mystery number 85, which is the first appearance of Loki, uh, Hemdall, the first appearance of Asgard, and the first appearance of Odin in a cameo. So there's a lot of important things in this book, plus the third appearance of Thor, so a very um, early Thor appearance. Uh, this is a PGX 4.0. Oregon's very excited about this book. Uh, Off-White Pages, definitely glad about that. Can't complain with a 4.0 grade. And I paid $366.66 for this book. So another book to acquire if you can. All right. Last two books. Last two books are Golden Age books. And my cat wants to make sure he hides the book so you can't see it. Uh, this is one I got a couple of months ago. Absolutely love it. There's nothing majorly significant. I just love the fact that it's an early All-Star Comics because... Uh, first appearance of Wonder Woman was All-Star Comics issue number 8. So this is All-Star Comics issue number 12. This is all the way back from 1942. This is light tan to off-white pages. Absolutely love the Golden Age books. Uh, there is some minor importance. Wonder Woman becomes secretary for the Justice Society of America. And there is a full-page ad for Wonder Woman issue number 1. So this was before they called it the Justice League. It was originally called the Justice Society of America. Um, here's the back of the book, you know, back in the days when kids were encouraged to buy weapons. It's obviously only a BB gun, but still. I paid a total of $600 for this book, and that's after I asked the person for a discount. They weren't even selling this with the best offer. I actually contacted the person. I think they were originally selling it between eight and $900, so I was able to you know, cut a couple of hundred dollars off this by asking. So even the squeaky wheel gets the grease. All right, and before I show the last one, I always ask people if you would be so kind to give the video a thumbs up if you appreciated it. If you want to share it, that helps my channel. Please hit subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Absolutely love this cover. Cannot believe I bought this book. This is my number one graded book for 2018. This is Submariner issue number two from the Golden Age. Um, it does have some glue along the spine. No big deal. It was graded a PGX 1.5 creamed off-white pages. Uh, this is an Alex Trumberg cover. It does have a Stan Lee story. So this is one of the earlier Stan Lee stories. I think it might be his second or third actual story that he ever did in comics. I believe it might be the second, because I know Captain America 3, I believe, is the first story he ever did. So, um, to me, this is such an amazing book. I can't complain. I mean, to get number two of Submariner, I, mean, I don't know if I'll ever see the day I get issue number one, so this is going to be the next best thing. And considering this book came out in 1941, I mean, there's a little pieces missing here and there, but overall, that still presents pretty darn good. And I remember I got this. There was a little bit of a discount. Uh, my wife also gave me for my birthday a um, 
a gift certificate for eBay as one of my presents, so I used that. So I paid a total of $975 for this book. I've seen like issues like 15 and 16 of this book go for a couple of thousand. So I can only imagine what this book is going to end up worth, especially if Submariner ends up with a movie. So um, if you don't have a Golden Age book, I highly recommend getting one. There's just something about that. So if Reggie's watching, I'm telling you, you'll be hooked once you get one. I mean, you already, you already got yourself some DC books, so this is the only thing left. So those are my books. I hope you appreciated that. I already have a couple of books that I bought over the New Year's that are I'm still waiting to get. And I will have my top 60 ungraded books. I'm going to be doing them in, in groups of 20. We'll start with the lowest amount, and then they'll get better as we go. So stay tuned for those. That will be coming in the next week or so. And uh, plenty of videos along the way. I cannot wait to see what 2019 brings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics, and hopefully you didn't mind the cat as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.